Hope you're doing well. So I'm going to give you the walkthrough of the contract onboarding snapshot we have. Uh, this snapshot can totally automate your contract and onboarding process within Go High Level. And you don't need to use any third party like DocuSign or Zapier to sign your contracts. So it has certain uh, different elements like uh, onboarding pipeline. We have custom values and a copy of the contract in the email so it looks something like it includes all the contact details and then on the very bottom it includes the client signature and then your signature so actually we have two the copy of the contract that is being sent to you and then a copy for the client and then we have uh, almost seven workflows in here to have the reminder sequence being sent in each of the different stages for the contract funnel. So let's start with the first page of the funnel. The lead comes here, fill out the information, and it takes them to the contract step. So the contract step has uh, the logo that is a custom field. You're gonna update your custom fields coming in your custom field area sorry the custom values coming in here you can update the links and it's going to change it to your logo we have the start date um initial term for the contract that you can add it later then we have uh, the account name that means the business name that you have in your agency and different details about the contract go through them one by one uh, change anything or edit or exclude stuff if you want on the very bottom you're going to find this page and uh, that is the contract signature form so the lead or your client fills out the signature field and then It's information like their business name, email, and their full name. So, of course, you're going to change this picture to your account owner picture. The signature is actually automated through the business owner signature value. And K is another custom value that is the account name or the business name of your account. So, once um, before I do that let me show you our pipeline so as i submitted the first basic onboarding form it created my stage uh, created my card in the stage onboarding form one and once i submit this it takes me out of this stage to the second contact form submitted stage and of course on the back end it um, sends me the contract signed email it sends you a copy of the contract signed email and it's gonna look something like so yeah it's gonna look something like this the so contract details from your uh, account name, copy of the contract, a uh, welcome message, and the copy of the agreement in here. On the bottom, it's going to include uh, the signature for the client, their details, and the agency account name, and your signature through the custom values. So, yeah. Um, so that happens for the client and if I go ahead and move to the next step so it takes me to the kickstart form and the kickstart form is a longer onboarding form so this is very important in the process and if the lead leaves the process in here they don't fill this out so we have a reminder sequence going for them that keeps reminding them to sign the kickstart form. 
with the link to the Kickstarter form page. So, the reminder one. Then we have. Reminder two, and we have reminder three. So that happens until they fill out the information. But if they instantly fill out the information, it of course takes them out of the workflow. So let me just quickly go through that. Once I submit this information, of course, it changes the card status and stage to onboarding funnel sub, uh, onboarding form submitted stage, and it takes me to the calendar. I'm waiting for the track. So, So yeah, it takes me to the onboarding call stage, uh, sorry, onboarding call calendar. And before I go through the calendar, let me show you what happens on the back end. So <clears throat> we have onboarding call reminder workflow as well. That is if they haven't booked the call and submitted the kickoff form. And then we have something for the contract as well. If they have submitted the very basic onboarding form with the, only the email field and haven't actually signed the contract. Uh, it includes different reminder emails, like four to five reminders until they fill out the contract. And then we have the same going on for the kickoff form and the same process for the onboarding call until booked. So as you can see, it changed my stage to the onboarding longer form submitted that we also call it as kickstart. And once I book the onboarding call, it should change my stage to the onboarding call booked, remind you of the, the onboarding call time, date, and the client name and details so we have a, a call booked reminder workflow in here so it automatically takes them out of all the reminder campaigns for the contract for the kickstart form for the basic uh, and for the onboarding for the onboarding appointment and it checks them to the onboarding call booked, sends them the confirmation email before 24 hours of the appointment, sends them another confirmation and before 15 minutes another one. So that is how it all works and once I do the onboarding call it takes me to the step that shows me thanks for taking the time to complete your onboarding process and um, says onboarding complete. So let me know if you have any questions. I believe I covered all parts.